Hey everyone, Duke here, and with Guardian Games and all the cosmetics that come with it now live, I thought now was the perfect time to go over every way to farm Bright Dust in 2023. Almost every single tip and strategy that we go over in this video will be doable both solo or with a group, so there's going to be something for every type of player in this video. Starting off, we have events. Guardian Games is the current event that is active for the next three weeks, and there's always quite a bit of extra Bright Dust to get during each of the four events that come around each year. First, there's two weekly bounties worth 200 Bright Dust each that you can do on all three characters each week of the event. If you do all of these bounties every week, that will add up to a total of 3,600 Bright Dust from just these bounties alone during the event. There's also extra repeatable bounties that can be purchased during all of these events as well, which will give you 10 Bright Dust each and are infinitely repeatable. You can hold up to 5 of these at a time in your inventory, just like with all the other repeatable vendor bounties. Speaking of other vendors, you can get 120 Bright Dust for doing 8 Strike bounties, 8 Crucible bounties, and 8 Gambit bounties each week. Again, this is doable on all three characters every week, which gives you a maximum of 1,080 Bright Dust a week from this method. However, you can and should buy repeatable bounties as well to get to these 8 bounties, which just like with the event repeatables will give 10 Bright Dust each for completing them, and are infinitely repeatable, as long as you have the Glimmer to purchase them. Don't forget that Rahul is conveniently available in the tower and sells Glimmer for multiple different materials that you may have extra of so you can use this conversion to keep the bounties and Bright Dust stacking. One of the best ways to get Bright Dust is through seasonal challenges. The downside of these is that they're limited to being done one time each during the season, but there are many, many bounties that are released for each of the first 10 weeks of every season that give Bright Dust. These are tied to the XP amounts that they give, with XP plus bounties giving 75 Bright Dust, XP plus plus bounties giving 150 Bright Dust, and XP plus 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 bounties giving a whopping 300 Bright Dust each. Also note that by finishing the final seasonal challenge, which requires you to complete almost all of that season's challenges that we were just talking about, you will get a large pile of Bright Dust, which gives you 4,000 Bright Dust. You can usually skip two or three total seasonal challenges to still complete this, but you will most likely want to finish most, if not all, of the seasonal challenges anyway for the XP and Bright Dust that they give. Another way to farm Bright Dust that resets every season is through leveling the Season Pass up through rank 100. The free track will give a total of 7500 Bright Dust that all players of Destiny 2 can get each season, and if you purchase the current season, you'll have access to the bottom paid track, which gives an additional 3,000 Bright Dust. This means that you can get a total of 10,500 Bright Dust each season, just for leveling up your season pass to level 100. You don't want to necessarily just stop leveling at 100 though, as you will continue to get Eververse Engrams for every 5 levels after 100, as well as get some during the season pass itself. These have a chance to give small, medium, or large gifts of Bright Dust, which give 250, 500, and 1000 Bright Dust respectively. These do have a relatively small chance of dropping from the Eververse Engrams, but if you're doing seasonal challenges and repeatable bounties anyway to farm for Bright Dust, this can be a nice bonus when you do get one of these extra Bright Dust drops. And finally, I have a really useful tip, especially if you're planning on farming out repeatable bounties. Instead of going to the tower constantly to buy more bounties, you can use the official Destiny 2 companion app. From this app, you can purchase bounties directly from any vendor as long as you're in orbit, so you can easily purchase new and more bounties after every activity that you do to much more efficiently farm Bright Dust and or XP from any and all bounties. I hope this video helped you unlock some of the cosmetics that you may want either from Guardian Games or some of the other things coming down the line later this year. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.